Hello kids, today I am going to teach you about cell. So, what is cell? This word is very familiar to all of us from beginning, from class 1, in class 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So, in every class you are hearing about the cell. You are also hearing from many persons that, oh, we are made of cell. So, have you ever thought that what is cell? Why we are always saying that we are made of cell? What is this cell? How we can made up of this cell? So let us clear this doubt. We will try to clear this doubt today. So what is cell? In science, what is the definition of cell? We are saying that cell is a basic structural unit of an organism. What we are saying? We are saying that a cell is a basic structural unit of a of an organism so why it is basic structural unit of an organism what is basic structural unit so we are saying the things basic unit means the smallest unit the smallest unit of an organism is called as cell we are also saying that cell is a unit of life unit of life means all the living beings are made up of cells so we can understand this by an example also let us uh, see a wall a wall is made up of bricks yeah so many bricks are used for uh, making a wall so how it works how it uh, a wall is made by a bricks suppose this is a brick. I have taken this building block. So uh, this small block, the single block, suppose this block is a single cell. So it is a single brick. When we are putting this brick together, then one more brick we are putting here. Then one more brick we are putting here. Now what we made? We made a wall. When many bricks come together, when, when the single single bricks come together, they make a wall. When we are making lots of walls and we are joining these walls together, what we make a house. What we make a house. Just like that, our cell is, our cell is just like this. This is the single unit of life. Means is the structural unit of an organism. How? Because when the cells come together like this, they make a tissue. When these many cells, these are the cells. Suppose these are the cells. So when these cells come together, they make a tissue. Tissue for having a specific function. When these tissue, when this tissue group of tissues come together what they are making they are making a they are making an organ what they are making they are making an organ and when the organs when the lots of organs come together many organs come together what they are making they are making organ system that we organ that we are that we are means we organize so that's why we are Say that cell is a basic unit of life. I hope that now it's clear that why we are saying that cell is a basic unit of life or we are saying that it's a structural unit of an organism. Now let us see who discovered this. By whom this cell was discovered. So in 19, in 1665, Robert Hooke. A scientist was there who discovered this and he was Robert Hooke. He discovered this cell in a cork slice. In where he discovered it? He discovered it in a, a slice of cork. So what was that cork? That was the bark of a tree. That was a dried bark of a tree. So what he saw? He saw that uh, in bark, in that uh, cork, there were many compartments, there were many compartments like uh, walls, uh, what you can say, boxes like there. And they were separated by a membrane. 
they were separated by a membrane lots of walls were there and they were separated by a membrane so he called this box like called as cell what he named that box as a cell now let us see that uh, how many cells are there in an organism do you know how many cells are present in us there are millions of cells are present in living beings in human being not billions there are trillions of cells which vary in shapes and size these cells are buried in shapes and size so there are trillions of cells are present in human being now do you know what kind of cells are the cells are of two types these are the eukaryotic cell and the prokaryotic cell so what are these eukaryotic cell and prokaryotic cell the cells which have a definite nucleus are called eukaryotic cells you means true you means true and karyon means nucleus so the cells which have true nucleus are called eukaryotic cells and the cells which have false nucleus are called prokaryotic cells pro means primitive means they came on this earth very early they were primitive so they are called pre prokaryotic cells so for example algae and blue green bacteria so what these are blue green algae and bacteria these are the prokaryotic cell example and except these both we all living organisms come in eukaryotic cells so cells is uh, a unicellular also and organisms are multicellular also so let us see uh, a quick different so what is unicellular so the organisms which are made up of single cell they are called unicellular they are made up of single cell but it doesn't mean that they are not functioning properly they are not functioning um, uh, regularly they are also functioning as a multicellular organisms so what is multicellular multicellular means the organisms which consist of multiple cells multiple cells they are called multicellular organisms and the cells the organisms which cons consist of single cell they are called single cell organisms or unicellular organisms for example amoeba parmesium these are the unicellular organisms but they are doing all their works properly and we the human being the animals the plants what they are they are the multicellular organisms so there are lots of things there are lots of interesting facts in this chapter we will read and we will see hope you today class it's clear that what is cell why it's called as the basic structural unit of cell thank you